many of you have ever looked up at the clock at four o'clock and said, God, I got another hour to work. Eight hours is too long of a day. How many of you have ever seen your paycheck every two weeks or every week? Well, oh, you can pay the cable bill, you can pay the phone bill, but yeah, I'll peak tonight on Friday might have to go by the wayside. How many of you have health insurance? Okay, not so many now. Um, how many of you have ever had a grievance against an employer and have somebody to take it to that would listen to you and hopefully do something about it? Well, this young lady right here is one of the main reasons that that four hour, that, that four o'clock time means you only got one hour left to work. That that 40 hour work week is a reality. This LMA Wiggins worked 55 hours a week. This LMA Wiggins might clear just under $16 for a week's work. She came here with her husband fathered eight of her children, ended up with nine, nine children. Now you gotta remember she died at the age of 29. That's a lot of responsibility on less than $16 a week. She worked for mill owners that had discovered the concept that we know all too well now of corporate efficiency. Now that means better robots making the products. Back then, they didn't have robots, so they just beat the workers harder. Ella May was one of those who said, you know, we're not real happy with the way we're being treated. We, uh, we, we, we think that, that maybe we should get a little more than $15 a week. We think that maybe the 55 hour work week should be a little shorter. We think that maybe we shouldn't have to sleep with the mill bosses if we want to keep our jobs or move up in the world a little bit. We think, God forbid, that we shouldn't have to leave our children in the care of our 11-year-old daughter with neighbors stopping by while we go off to work 10, 12 hours a day. Well, the bosses weren't real fond of that. And unfortunately, the bosses had the money and Occupy Gastonia was born. Um, you see the Occupy protesters on television now. It looks like they've got it rough. Well, this LMA was shot and killed by some of the people that she was striking against. She wasn't the only one. And the police at the time, now we have our bridge for Chief, Chief Vader Holt, and the history is a little murky on which side he was on, but he was not the one who pulled the trigger on this LMA. But he was part of the establishment, and the establishment did not want the change. And <laughs> Ms. LMA was on the way back from a meeting one night, riding in the back of a truck, and six cars full of labor sympathizers and thugs, including, and you'll pardon my notes here, a three-fingered thug named Horace Wheelis, came out and confronted them, and in the exchange of gunfire, at the age of 29 years old, Ms. LMA Wiggins became a ghost. Now, ghosts are powerful creatures. Ghosts can keep our memories alive. And that's what we're trying to do right now. We want to keep her memory alive. We want her to have the same recognition as the man who was on the other side of the fence has. We want people to know who Ella Mae Wiggins was. I didn't know who she was until a month ago. And the more I read, the more I'm convinced that the world needs to know Ellen Mae Wiggins. That's all I've got. Another one of her songs. Oh, she bad her whole. <laughs> Oh,